Hello, I'm Chris Menard. I get this question about Microsoft Teams all the time, and that is, should I schedule a meeting using Microsoft Teams, or should I schedule the meeting using Microsoft Outlook and schedule a Teams meeting? Do you want the fast answer? The fast answer is simply schedule a meeting with Microsoft Outlook. I'm going to show you why, though. This video will contain chapters down below. So if I'm in Teams, one thing I do love about Teams is it's easy to meet instantly with somebody. And if I wanted to schedule a meeting with Christian, because I'm in chat, here's Christian. Down at the bottom is a calendar and it says schedule a meeting. And so I'm scheduling a meeting with Christian. This is great for people internally. I'm going to hit close. Just so I can say that I covered this, a new feature in Teams. And again, this is another time I would use Teams is if I go to Teams and I'm on the finance team, here are my channels, you can now have a calendar, budget and planning, you can now have a calendar for a channel. So this is a great way if I need to meet with the budgeting and planning channel, come over here and hit schedule a meeting. There is the Teams calendar and notice it says finance, budget and planning. I could have a few people that were required and I could send this off. Again, that's when I would use Teams. But let's talk about this. Most meetings you have are probably going to be, there. there's going to be meetings with people outside your company. This is where Teams fails, if you ask me. So here's my point. If I go to the calendar, another tip, by the way, if you don't see the calendar, hit the three dots and go find the calendar and then you'll have calendar. Here is today, Sunday the 7th. I'm going to schedule this for 1 p.m. and click. Great. Um, if I add people inside my organization, there's Christian, Carol, there's Carol. Great. Well, where's my contact groups or distribution list as they're sometimes called? I don't see them. If I come over here to optional and click, it adds an optional field. If I go to the scheduling assistant, I have to type the names. So there's one big issue I have. Another issue is if I type somebody outside my organization, if I was in Outlook on the desktop or even Outlook on the web, autocomplete would start populating. Well, there is no autocomplete populating here in Teams right here. I had to type in Chris Menard at live.com. Now it says invite. Another issue, watch this. I'm going to pull up Excel. I've got these four test email accounts. I'm going to hit copy because I'm not sending this out. Right click and paste. In Microsoft Outlook, it resolves these and realizes those are four people. Let me put them here on this line. Not here. So I'm hoping I've got you convinced that unless you're scheduling a channel meeting, or if you want to quickly schedule a meeting with people you work with, go do it in Outlook. So now let's go test this in Outlook. One little item I do want to share with you though is I'm going to send this off for 1 p.m. to 1.30. Your Teams calendar and your calendar in Microsoft Outlook should always be in sync. If they're not, uh, it has to do with the probably Skype for Business add-in if I had to take a guess, which I've done before. Turn off the Skype for Business add-in, check the Teams add-in, close Outlook, close Teams, reopen both. They should get in sync. Let me pop over to my Outlook calendar. That 1 p.m. meeting should be there, and it already is. So watch this. Right-click, new meeting request. Uh, title is going to be test four. I don't care. Christian, sure. Christian's there. CH, look, that is autocomplete working right there. I'm like, oh yeah, I need Chris at Gmail to come. I need CHR. I need Chris Menard at Live to come. Remember the four emails that I went to Excel and did a copy and paste? Control V. There they are. Watch this. Backspace, press Enter. Give it a second. They should get underlined in just a second. And... Done. Also, I could easily go and hit required. You know this. 
and go and get my contacts or whatever else I want, my contact group, my distribution list. So I'm good to go here. What you cannot do in Microsoft Outlook right now is schedule a Teams channel meeting, but just do that from Teams. One little issue that people have, I've read that people complained about is when you do right click new meeting request, type in your information, you've got to come up here and select Teams meeting. Not a big deal, but some people have said they've forgotten. By the way, I'm going to send this off uh, after I get rid of these emails real quick. Those are all good. Send. Test four over in Outlook. Let's just make sure that what I said is true. You put something in Outlook, it shows up in Teams. I just got to get the focus back here. And there is test four. One item that I do want to tell you about, Outlook on the web <laughs> has this really cool feature where you can make every meeting you schedule from your calendar a Microsoft Teams meeting. Just to prove this, I come over here. By the way, that's still in sync. Um, click. Test. Let's invite Carol this time. Give Christian a break. Look, Teams meeting is already checked. Send. In case you're wondering how in the world did I set that up, I came up here to settings. I went down to view all Outlook settings at the bottom. I clicked over here on calendar. I clicked on events and invitations. And I've already checked it. Add online meetings to all meetings right there. It even says it only works for Teams and Skype for Business, which leads me to this final point. I'm going to just go back to Outlook on the desktop for just a second. It is coming. That feature that I just showed you on Outlook on the web is coming to Outlook on the desktop. File, Options, Calendar. It's just not working right here. Add online meetings to all meetings. And look, it even says it only works for Teams. It's just not working right now, but it is on the roadmap for Microsoft Teams. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to subscribe. Uh, hit the bell. If you have any questions about scheduling meetings or any comments even, please let me know. Have a good day. Thank you.